Hello guys, Carbon Shadow here, and we are back for episode 4 of my Newcastle United FIFA 14 career mode. Sorry about all the topsy-turvy uploads and the, the schedule just going completely to pot. That is because of a power cut I experienced over the weekend, and that completely screwed up my plans for uploading. So it's all changed this week, and I told you about that in the last episode, which was episode 3, which I'm guessing you guys have just come straight from, because today is a double bill of FIFA 14 content because of the whole schedule cock up. So it is two for Tuesdays. Yes, I'm stealing that off Domino's and Pizza Hut. It is two for Tuesdays today, and that is awesome. So basically, I'm not going to babble on about my schedule anymore. I will talk more about that at the end of the episode. So let's get straight into the episode. Our first game of episode four is Everton. It's a big one for us. If we quickly have a look at the table, we are sitting in first with 15 points, but it is all very tight in the top five. Arsenal with 13 points, Everton with 13 points, Chelsea with 12 points, and Liverpool with 12 points. It is all very tight. If Everton managed to get a win at Goodison Park, which they probably probably will, it's going to be a very tough game, then they will jump into first. So it is all very tight. And if you remember, we have Liverpool as our last game of this episode. So again, if they beat us, which is probable because they're an extremely good team, um, they will jump into first. But they have to beat us by four goals to nothing. Or Well, it's all going to change. Because, of course, we have two games before that. We have Everton and Cardiff. So let's quickly go over the team and then I'll get straight into the gameplay. So we have Bakali on the left wing. We have Remy up front. We have Ben Arthur on the right wing. We have Cabela in that centre attacking mid. I'm playing a 4-2-3 attack this time round. We have Yanazai left centre mid. Sissoko right centre mid. Santon left back. Yangren Biwa left centre back. Colacini right centre back. Debushi right back. And, of course, Krul in goal. So that is the team. Have a quick look over that, and now let's get straight into the game, guys. Let's play Edi uh, Let's play Edison. Let's play Everton at Goodison Park. Let's do it, guys. So here we are, guys. Match day six at Goodison Park. We are playing Everton, and it is going to be a big game to get today. I also forgot to mention in the menus, and I feel like an idiot for this, but the, you will see that that match bar at the bottom there is showing you the list of games. Well. You can choose you can choose a game on that match bar and it will take you to the game. So right back into the commentary. Everton on the attack twice. Twice in the first few minutes here. Barry still on goal here. Yang Grimby were chasing down Coleman. Can he chase him down? Yes, he can, but he can't keep the ball on. And it's off for an Everton corner. Cabela finding Remy, but Remy completely re wasting his run. He's trying to steal the ball off Jagielka, but he can't do it. Yanazai finding space. Yanazai into Cabela. Cabela. Cabela trying to get a cross in here. Can he? No, he can't, but he's got us a corner. Pinar traveling up the wing here. Colicini trying to get in the way. Barkley in on goal. And yeah, has gone to ground. Cool, cool with the save. And that is that was a fantastic clearance there. Some great defensive play. Lukaku on the attack now. Debushi dispossessing Lukaku. Barkley. Trying to find Barry. He has found Barry. Barry with the shot. And it is only just wide for Everton there. Cabela. Into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur trying to find Bakali. Bakali's been found. Bakali with the chip. Oh, what a beautiful goal. What a brilliant way to start this away match at Goodison Park. Bakali with a beautiful chip over Tim Howard. And that is 1 0 Newcastle United. What a goal. Let's watch that one again. Fantastic composure. Watch Tim come out. Watch this Tim come out and just chips over him like it's nothing. The 17-year-old showing so much progress so far this season. What a fantastic goal that was. Yanazo. It's a great movement. Gets the ball into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur looking for space. Ben Arthur's found space. Great save by Tim Howard. Morales coming up the wing here. Getting the ball into Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley is clearing on goal. Gets the ball into Steven Pienaar. Cruel with a save. And the ball is out. And that was a really close chance for Everton there. Distan with the free kick for Everton. What's he going to do with it? He swung it into Lukaku. Colacini getting hold of it. And making sure Lukaku can't get in on goal. Can Ben Arthur get to the ball before it goes off? He can. Only just kept on. Ben Arthur in on goal. Ben Arthur with a shot. 
Howard with another great save. And Howard is on form today. Can Newcastle stop this chance on goal? Barkley in on goal, but the Cabela dispossessing him. Remy, and that is half time. It is 1 0 here at Goodison Park. Bakali with a great chip shot in the first 20 or 30 minutes of the game, I think. And we are 1 0 up. And what a great start. Let's see if we can carry this on for the next 45 minutes. So here we are back for the second half of Goodison Park. We are 1 0 up. And can we get any more goals in the second half? McCarthy trying to get that in. Barkley pulling off a shot there. Lost for, oh, was lost for words with that one. Barkley managing to pull off a shot and it's only just wide. Pinar, dispossessed by Cabela. Cabela looking at Ben Arthur's run. He's found Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur trying to find Remy. He's put the ball too far forward into the box. It's fallen to Yanazai. Yanazai's lost out to McCarthy and that's the end of the attack. Barkley making his way up the pitch. He's got the ball into Lukaku. Colacini trying to chase down Lukaku. He does so. Goes to the ground, but Yang Grimby were clearing the ball out of the box. Yanazai into Remy. Remy trying to find Ben Arthur, but finds... Ben Arthur. He does find, find Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur on the wing. Ben Arthur trying to turn the players. Can he retain the ball? No, he can't. Jaggy Elka making sure of that. Time to make some subs. And by the looks of things, Bakali is knackered. He has been running up and down the pitch all day. So let's get Bakali and Yanazai off before they fall to their knees in pain. So I'm going to get De Jong on. I'm going to play Remy on that left wing there, I think. Wait, let, let me see. Does he play? He does play left wing. Um, let's get Yanazai off for Gufran. And Colocini is injured with a bruised elbow. I think he'll be okay as long as he doesn't fall on it again. Uh, Colocini should be fine. So let's get straight back into the action. Magidi finding Oviedo. Oviedo with a cross in. But it's got it's out by Yangra and Biwa. Yangra and Biwa trying to get that as far up the pitch as possible. Ben Arthur looking for De Jong. Almost finds De Jong. But Distan getting his body in the way of that one. De Jong dispossessing Distan. De Jong almost in on goal. De Jong stopped by Jagielka there. Pinar swings in the free kick. Colocini with the header. Ben Arthur trying to get it out the box. It's back into Traore. Cruel with a save. Traore with a shot which could have got Everton a goal there. De Jong steals the ball off Oviedo. De Jong with a shot. But he can't get one off. We are seconds away from the whistle now. And we have one last attack on goal. Can we make the most of it? No, we cannot. That is it though, the final whistle and we have beaten Everton at Goodison Park 1-0. A brilliant chipped goal from Adnan, y not Adnan Yenazai, sorry, Zakaria Bakali. A brilliant, fantastic chip shot and goal from Zakaria Bakali right over Tim Howard and there was nothing he could do about it. And that has sealed the three points in our first game of this episode. And what a, what a great win at Goodison Park. So let's watch that back alley goal one more time let's go into the match highlights on one of the match being david santon or davide santon and let's watch that back alley goal again let's just get it in slow motion there slow motion right over tim uh, tim howard and into the back of the net what a fantastic goal so let's advance onwards into our next game which is against cardiff city we will be switching up the team because we need to rest up the team for Liverpool although we do have a two-week break until the Liverpool game so we could be okay for that one but it looks like Colicini won't be okay today won't be okay to play sorry with that bruised elbow so we will have to swap out Colicini so Colicini is out I want to put Dominic back in let's get Amiobi back on the bench Haidar is still injured with that sprained knee and I can't remember how long he's out for but I assume it could be another three weeks. So let's advance onwards. Let's attend that press conference for the Cardiff City game at the Cardiff City Stadium. So press conference, I'm going to go in and I'm going to praise Newcastle United because six wins on the trot. And that is great. Uh, apparently Colicini is okay to play in the next game, so that's good. And Haidara didn't have three weeks left. He had about two days, so Haidara is good to play now. So let's get 
Colacini back on, assuming he's fit. He's perfectly fit. Let's get Dummett back on the bench. Let's get Hydara back on the bench. Hydara seems okay, but I'm not going to risk him. We are going to change up the team a little bit, so I want Marvo on. I'm going to play De Jong in for Remy, and I think I'm going to play Gosling in for Sizoko. And that is the team we will play. In fact, I'm going to play Dummett in for Yangro Biwa. And Robbie Elliott in goal. And that is what we will be playing. So there is our formation. Our, we will still be playing a 4-3-3 attack. So there's our lineup and formation. If you want to have a look at it quickly. There it is. Don't forget about... I'm going to keep reminding you guys about the match bar. Because it is a new feature. So don't forget about the match bar at the bottom there. You can select the game you want to play in the match bar at the bottom. So don't forget to make good use of that if you don't want to hear me babble on about team lineups and the tables and stuff like that. If you just want to see the gameplay, then click on the game you want to watch. It's so easy. So without further ado, if we look at the table, we are in first, Everton are in second, Chelsea are in third, Arsenal are in fourth, and Liverpool are in fifth. So can we gain a, a, another three-pointer at the Cardiff City Stadium? Let's play Cardiff, guys. So here we are, guys. Match day seven. Is it? I'm, I'm, I've, I've lost count. I think it's match day seven. Yes, it is. Match day seven at the Cardiff City Stadium. It is Newcastle United versus Cardiff. Can we gain ourselves another three points? The ball played upfield. Colicini into Gosling. Gosling looking for De Jong. He's found De Jong. De Jong looking for space. De Jong has found space and Kulka making a crucial block to send that off for a corner. Gosling to swing in the corner and Marshall collects that with ease. Damn it, with a header into Bakali. Bakali seeing Ben Arthur's run. Can Ben Arthur get to the ball? No, Fabio beats him to it. Gosling dispossessing Zaha and keeping it on the pitch. Fantastic from Gosling. Gosling with a shot. And that wasn't a bad shot from where he was, but Marshall with an easy save. Marvo looking for players to get the ball into. Ben Arthur was offside there, but the block was made, so he is still onside. The ball is in to De Jong. Can De Jong finish is the question. He's found himself some space. Takes the shot. Kulka with a block. The ball still rolling towards the goal. And that could have been a really close chance for Newcastle there. Papi Stembasise running up the pitch. Colicini trying to close him down. He gets the pass through, but the Cardiff City player is offside. Cowie on the edge of the box almost now. He gets it in to Much. Elliot with a save. Elliot with a double save. And Cardiff denied a goal there. Marvo trying to find De Jong. He has done with a great little pass, but De Jong losing out to Kulka. Colicini dispossessing Jordan Much. De Jong just couldn't reach the pass from Colicini there. Colicini into De Jong. Who can De Jong find though? He's found Bakali, but Ben Arthur's taking the ball and how... How wide do you want the goal, Ben Arthur? What a terrible miss. That should have been in the back of the net. What was Ben Arthur thinking? What on earth was he thinking when he took that shot? How wide do you want the goal, son? Dummett dispossessing him. Gunnison grabbing the ball back. Yanezai dispossessing him. Yanezai with a run now. He sees Ben Arthur in space. Ben Arthur's on side. Can he rectify his last mistake? Almost, but Marshall with a great save. Cissé on the attack here. Cissé into Much. Much has almost rolled it into the goal. And the ref has called a foul. And lucky for us that that didn't roll into the goal because we got a free kick there and that could have been 1-0 to Cardiff City. The ref with his whistle to his lips. Will there be any more attacks on goal? No, there will not. The first half has finished 0-0 at the Cardiff City Stadium. No goals in the first half. And can either team capitalise in the next 45 minutes? We are back for the second half of this game at the Cardiff City Stadium. It is nil-nil and can anyone capitalise over the next 45 minutes? Yanazai on the ball. He sees Bakali making a run. 
He's got the ball into Bakali almost. Can Bakali get, grab the ball, turn, keep it on? He can't keep it on, but he does get us a corner. Dan Gosling to swing in the corner. Swings one in. Colaccini with a header. Marshall with a great save. Cardiff City on the attack. Cissé's in the box. And Debushi getting a tackle on Cissé there. Cissé still in the box. Gets the ball to Cowie. Zaha getting the ball into Cissé. Cissé getting the ball into Bellamy. And Bellamy has scored for Cardiff City here. We are 1-0 down in the 64th minute. And we are really going to have to pick up our game here if we are to win this second game of the episode. Craig Bellamy with an easy as you like goal. Cissé with a great through ball in and Bellamy just to tap that home. Two ex Newcastle United players pairing up to score against us here and it is 1-0 at the Cardiff City Stadium. Dumb it into Debushi. Debushi into Marvo. Much in on goal. And that is a second goal for Cardiff City and they're absolutely destroying us here at the Cardiff City Stadium. Robbie Elliott just couldn't keep Jordan Much out there. And Much with a great goal. And we really need to pick up our game. I think it is time to make some substitutions and it is time to bring in some really key players. But let's see that goal again. Much with an easy shot and Reb, uh, Robbie Elliott just couldn't do anything to save that one. So let's make those substitutions we said we were going to make. And let's see who needs to come off. We need to bring on some stronger players. So on comes Remy Cabela. On comes Loic Remy. And I think I'm going to pull De Jong off. And I think I'm going to pull Moses Suzoka on for Gosling. Actually, I'm going to have to pull Yanazai off because Yanazai looks tired. Let's pull Gosling on. In fact, let's play Ben Arthur back in Gosling's position. Let's pull Gosling off. And let's play De Jong in that striking position with Remy playing left wing and Bakali playing right wing. Let's continue on with that and see if we can get two goals back here in the next 20 minutes. Debushi looking for someone to get the ball into. He's got the ball into Remy. What can Remy do with it though? Oh, I can't get it past Juan Kala. De Jong trying to steal the ball off Zaha. He does. Suzoko. Seeing Remy's run. And Remy just couldn't get to that. And that was just terrible from Newcastle. Cardiff City. De Jong into Remy. Remy into space. Remy with a shot. And it's in the back of the net in the 84th minute. Can we, are we about to make a very late comeback here at the Cardiff City Stadium? Remy with a goal in the 84th minute here. Let's watch this one again. It slides past Marshall. And can we equalise in the next six minutes here? Are Newcastle going to pull something out of the hat? Let's see. What a great goal from Remy there, though. Debushi dispossessing Campbell, and it is a free kick for Cardiff. And it does not look like New. It doesn't look like Newcastle are going to be able to equalise in this game. Suzoko into back alley. This will be the last attack on goal. Bakali loses the ball and Newcastle lose the game. That is a 2-1 defeat to Cardiff City at Cardiff City Stadium. We really just didn't push hard enough for those goals. And when we did finally get a goal, it was too late to actually capitalise and take any points from this match. So we, this is our first loss of the season to Cardiff City. And it looks like we're going to have to motivate the lads for our next game against Liverpool because that is going to be a big game and extremely hard for us to win after this sour defeat at Cardiff City so let's see who our player of the game was it was Luke de Jong and let's move onwards to the Liverpool game let's put this loss in the past and see if our players can move on and get a win at St James's Park against Liverpool so let's check the table now it's going to be very tight after that loss at Cardiff City so this is how it sits at the moment. Newcastle United in first with 18 points. Liverpool in second with 16 points. So this next game is all to play for. The goal difference is exactly the same. So it really is a points game in our next match. Arsenal in third with 16. Chelsea in... Oops, sorry. 
Press left trigger by accident there. Oh, I'm doing it all wrong now. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Chelsea in fourth with 16 points and Everton in fifth with 16 points. It is all very tight in the top five. Only two points between first and second, third, fourth and fifth. So it is extremely tight. Manchester City sitting in tenth with only three goal difference. So they're still sitting mid-table. And that's interesting. The relegation zone looks like this. Swansea City with four points. Norwich City with four points. And Aston Villa with three points. West Ham and Sunderland both on four points. And it is all very, very close from 14th point, uh, 14th place downwards. Fulham, Crystal Palace, Sunderland, West Ham all at risk of going into that relegation zone if Swansea, Norwich or Aston Villa pick up uh, a win in their next game. So let's have a look at the email in the office. Colicini says he appreciates uh, me letting him play. That's fine. So let's advance these two weeks. And let's advance onto the Liverpool game. Let's go to the press conference. Let's motivate the team after that loss. Let's check the player conversations. Tim Krull wants to play. That's fair enough. Hydara is back from injury. No, that's an old email. Sorry. Okay, so let's sort out the team. So we are going to be playing Krull in for Robbie Elliott. Let's play in Yanger and Biwa, who's now a 77 overall. Let's play him in for Dummett. Let's play in Suzoko. Let's play Remy in for De Jong. And Bakali is a 73 now, which is fantastic. Yanazai is a 75. So everyone is progressing quite nicely. Cabela. Cabela in that center attacking mid. In fact, I think I'm going to play center defensive against Liverpool because... No, uh, yeah, so we will play 4-3-3 holding with the center defensive mid. So we will play Teote in that center defensive mid position. So where are you, Teote? There you are, you're sitting on the bench. So let's get... We won't need a center attacking mid, so let's get Marvo off there. We'll play Yanazai, we'll play Cabela. And that is what we're going to be playing in the next game. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully we can pull a decent result at St. James's Park against Liverpool. It is all to play for. Let's look at the table before the next game. We've dropped into second because Arsenal have won the eighth game of the season. So Arsenal are in first with 19 points. Newcastle are in second with 18 points. Man United in third with 16 points. Liverpool in fourth with 16 points. And Chelsea in fifth with 16 points. Everton in sixth with 16 points. But they've already played this week's game. So Chelsea with a game in hand. And of course Liverpool and us with a game in hand. So without further ado, let's play that game in hand. Let's play Liverpool at St. James's Park and see if we can get a win after that loss at Cardiff City. So here we are, guys. Match day eight at St. James's Park. It is Newcastle versus Liverpool. And can we get ourselves a win against the Reds? It's not going to be an easy game. Ben Arthur already on the attack in these early stages. Ben Arthur gets the ball into Remy. Remy trying to swing that in past Mignolet. Mignolet on the ground. Remy collecting the ball. Teote on the outside of the box. Teote with the shot. And it's deflected off Remy and Remy was offside. Ben Arthur trying to get past Gersel, but he can't. Debushi plays the ball into Cabela. Cabela trying to find someone to get the ball in. He gets it into Yanazai. Yanazai on the edge of the box here. What can he do? Yanazai, he's found space. Yanazai with the shot. He's nailed that into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal. And what a fantastic shot from Adnan Yanazai there. We are 1-0 up in the ninth minute. Newcastle back to their winning ways. And Adnan Yanazai, one of the young'uns we brought in on loan from Manchester United, has capitalised for us in this key game of the season. And what a great shot from the edge of the box. Brilliant composure, dribbling around those defenders. And what a great shot past Mignolet. It is 1-0 here at St. James's Park. Ben Arthur's on side. He's got space. Can he swing in something here? He can. Ben Arthur swings something in. It makes it as far as Remy Cabela. Cabela finding space. Cabela not able to pull off a shot. Ben Arthur on the wing again. Can he cross it in? He can. Ben Arthur crosses it in. It makes it out to Yanazai. Yanazai on the edge of the box again. Yanazai with a shot. 
Yanezai with another chance. Teote with the chance now. Teote into Santon. What can Santon do with this? Santon's found space. Santon with the shot. Mignolet with the save. And jo is Johnson able to clear this? Gets it out as far as Skirtle. Skirtle being chased down by Teote. And it is out and safe. Sturridge trying to make it up the pitch. But Teote making a key tackle there. Teote into Yanezai. What can Yanezai do? Yanezai's in on goal again. Yanezai with the shot. And he's only just skied that over the crossbar. Yanezai playing fantastically today already in these first few minutes of the game. And what a fantastic shot. Remy trying to find space. Remy playing that into Yanezai. Yanezai's in again. Yanezai with the shot. Almost plays it across Mignolet there. Gerard. Gerard's got it into Suarez. Cruel with a save. Johnson waiting on the on the right hand side of the box there and he knocks one in for Liverpool. Liverpool have equalised in the 26th minute and it is one all here at St James's Park. Cruel with a great save. Saving Suarez's chance but Glenn Johnson to knock it home for Liverpool. It is one all here at St James's Park. Ben Arthur fouled by Suarez. And is this going to be a card for Suarez? It is. Suarez on a yellow card here. And let's have a look at that tackle. It's a very late tackle from Suarez there. And Ben Arthur going to ground. And Suarez picking up a yellow card. Suarez into Sturridge. Sturridge into Henderson. Colaccini getting in there and Cruel picking that up. And that was almost a goal for Liverpool there. Yanezai trying to create himself some space here. Yanezai created himself some space. He's got past Lucas. Yanezai with a shot. And Mignolet with an easy save. It is half time now. And it is one all here at St. James's Park. At the moment, it has been a very close game. Goals from Yanezai and Glenn Johnson. And can either of the teams capitalise and grab three points in the next 45 minutes? The second half about to be kicked off by Newcastle here at St. James's Park. It is one all. And can Liverpool or Newcastle capitalise and take three points from this game? Mignolet has passed it into Remy. What a mistake. And Remy with an easy goal there. And Mignolet, what were you thinking, my friend? What were you thinking, son, passing that into Remy when he's clearing on goal? He's always going to capitalise. We are 2 on up in the 48th minute. It didn't take long for us to grab a goal and take the lead back. And what an easy goal for Newcastle United here. A simple mistake from Mignolet there and a simple goal from Loic Remy. Suarez in on the attack. Suarez straight on, in on the attack. And that is an instant equaliser for Liverpool. Liverpool have pulled it back two minutes after Remy got that easy goal off Mignolet. Suarez with a sweeping run down the pitch and just pushing the defence aside and rolling it past Krul into the bottom right-hand corner. Let's watch that again. I don't know what the defence was doing, but Suarez with an easy, easy, easy goal. And it is two all here at St. James's Park. Goals everywhere at the moment and who is going to win this game Sturridge trying to create space Sturridge has created himself some space Teote with a dodgy tackle there and it is a penalty for Liverpool and is that going to be a red card for Czech Teote I don't know we didn't get we didn't get to see what card Czech Teote got there but it doesn't matter because Krul now has to save a Luis Suarez penalty the Uruguay frontman and Liverpool frontman with the spot kick. And can Krul make the save? No, he can't. He goes completely the wrong way. And that is a second goal for Luis Suarez. Grabbing his brace there with a penalty in the 57th minute. And Newcastle United are down 3-2 at St. James's Park. Let's watch that penalty again. Suarez tucking it away like he always can. And what a great goal from Luis Suarez there. He's now going to do his best to try and retain that. 
Yanazai dispossessing Allen there. A clean tackle from Yanazai. Yanazai on the attack. Can he swing something in here? Or is he going to actually go for goal? Yanazai still on the ball here. Yanazai twisting and turning the defense. Yanazai trying to find space, but he can't. Yanger and Biwa tackling Henderson. Henderson's cleaning on the ball here. Is he going to swing something in? Debushi trying to get it out. Coutinho in on goal. Gerard in on goal. And what a fantastic goal from Steven Gerrard there. There was nothing anyone could do about that. And that is a that is a pure Steven Gerrard goal. I can't even complain about that. That was just pure genius from the from the English international. What a fantastic goal from Steven Gerrard. And we are 4-2 down in the 76th minute. I knew this game was going to be hard. And Gerrard has proved how good he is. He doesn't need to prove how good he is. We know he's good. And he's going to be fantastic for us in the World Cup. But what a fantastic goal from Gerard there. And we are 4-2 down in the 76th minute. Time to make some changes, I think. And I am going to switch to a 4-3-3 attacking formation. I'm going to see if that's going to make the difference. If we attack their goal, is it going to make a difference? Or is it going to open the defense wide open? So I'm going to get Teote off, forces Oko. And I'm happy to play that until someone gets extremely exhausted so let's resume the game and see if we can grab back two goals in the space of 14 minutes now it's four two. Cabela he's made the run can he get the cross in he gets the cross in Ben Arthur with a header and oh that was only just wide I thought that was going to creep into the back of the net and we could have been right back in this game what a close chance from Newcastle United there and that almost creeping into the back of the net there Cabela into Remy. Remy in on goal. Mignolet with a great save. Remy on the ball. Trying to get it into Newcastle player, but all of the passes going straight into Liverpool. That is the whistle. That is the second loss on the trot for Newcastle United. We have lost 4 2 to Liverpool at St. James's Park. This game wasn't going to be easy. And Liverpool deserving that win there with a fantastic strike from Steven Gerrard for that fourth goal for Liverpool. So that is two losses on the trot in this episode and we'll have to see how that affects our position in the table. Hopefully we keep a top five position because we are aiming for Europa League this season. So our player of the match was Remy Cabela with an 8.0. But the man of the match, the man of the match, I'm guessing goes to Steven Gerrard. No, it goes to Luis Suarez with an 8.9. And let's advance onwards and have a look and see how the table sits. So let's have a look at the table and that win has sent Liverpool into first place. So Liverpool in first place, Arsenal in second, Chelsea in third, Newcastle United sitting in fourth. We're sitting in fourth so we're still safely in the top five and Manchester United in fifth. City climbing up the table in eighth and the bottom now looks like this. West Ham in 18th, Norwich City in 19th and Aston Villa in 20th. Sunderland so close to the relegation zone. At least that's something to be happy about after those two losses in this episode. So that has been episode four of my FIFA 14 uh, Newcastle United career mode. Let's just advance forward to the next game and then we will check the calendar. It is Sunderland, so it is the Tyne Wear Derby. So let's attend the press conference before we end this episode. So let's motivate, motivate the team. Korea Republic have sent me a job offer, so I'm going to reject that offer. Player conversations, check Teote. Apparently there's speculation saying that he wants to leave the club. We'll leave that for now because I don't think that's that important. And what's the other one? Tim Cool saying thanks for playing me. That's okay. So it looks like we're going to have Sunderland and Cardiff again in the next episode. That's Cardiff two episodes in a row. And let's just check the calendar to see who that third team will be. So we will have Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. Then Cardiff. And I'm not sure whether that is home or away. But it's the round six. It is round 16 of the Capital One Cup. And then we will have Chelsea at St. James's Park. So two big games. We have the Tyneware Derby. We have our next Capital One Cup game, and then we have Chelsea at St. James's Park. So the next episode is almost even bigger. It is even bigger than this episode. So 
get ready for episode 5 out on Thursday. I hope you've enjoyed today's double bill of episode 3 and episode 4. Episode 6 and 7 will be out Saturday and Sunday. I did mention in the last episode that I am moving out of my current house and moving back to my parents. So that may affect the Saturday and Sunday uploads. But it will not affect the Thursday uploads. You will have episode 5 on Thursday. And hopefully I can get episode 6 and 7 out to you on Saturday and Sunday. So that is the lineup for the next episode. We will have Sunderland, Cardiff, and then Chelsea. But until then, guys, I will leave you with the end of episode four. One, lo uh, one win, two losses. So our form is starting to drop. And can we get it back in the next episode? So as always, guys, I've been Carbon Shadow. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. The subscriber count is almost at 50 subscribers now. That is awesome. So I think we're going to hit our 100 subscriber target for the end of the year. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Follow, Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I update my Twitter frequently. And I put all my updates on my Twitter compared to my Facebook page. I post my videos to my Facebook page. But videos and updates are posted to my Twitter account. So don't forget to check Twitter. And until Thursday, guys... I will see you in the next one. So until then, guys, have a good one.